All right, so I went all the way around and I'm going to be joining um, here in the front loop, it looks like. Now, when I um, increase in each round, I always start with the first stitch, personally. Each pattern you come across may do it differently, but I like doing it in the first one. But for this one, I'm actually going to be decreasing in the last one that um, in um, each section. So I'm going to do one, let's see here, I'm trying to look at my work here through um, over the video camera. I'm kind of going a little cross-eyed, quite honestly. <laughs> All right, one, two, three, and here we're actually going to decrease. So um, to decrease it, um, in this one it's four stitches, but we want to make it um, like this one, so it is going to be three. So one, two, and the third stitch, it's going to insert, um, yarn over, insert, and pull up like you would for regular half double crochet. And then you yarn over again and stick it in the next one. Um, this one we did a front loop, so this one will be doing a back loop. Pull it through. And you see you got five loops on there, and you pull the yarn all the way through them all. So you got one, two, three. Even though there's two of them there, it counts as one. So we'll do it again. This one we did in a back loop, so we'll do one, two. Again, this one we're going to decrease over two stitches. So, one there, one there, and pull it through all three, oh, five. One, two, and then decrease over the next two stitches, three. You'll continue doing that all the way around um, in the pattern in the row that that it specifies in the pattern. All right, that's how you do the increases. That's how you do the decreases. Now I'm going to show you um, the difference in the beading for this hat um, versus the scarf. All right, um, this is a hat that I'm working on for the pattern, and. Um, as you can see, when you're working in the round, you're actually always working on the right side. With the scarf, you work on one, one side and then you flip it, and then you work on the other side and then you flip it. So you're working on the right side, wrong side, right side, wrong side. Um, for that one, it made it a little bit easier to um, do the seeds every other row um, and make them pop out on the side that you wanted it to be the right side, which happened to be facing away from you. Well, with the hats, you want them to pop out towards you on the right side, so it is just a little bit different. Um, let me go ahead and show you here. Um, actually, I'm not going to necessarily I to um, count to see how many um, where to where to place the the bead, but I do want to show you the difference in just the beading. Um, in the scarf, we slid down the bead, then we yarned over. And then um, we completed the stitch. Okay, and you see the bead is actually on this side. That's what we wanted for the scarf. It worked great. It's actually a little bit easier. For this one, I'm um, just going to do a couple more stitches here just to give some space. With this one, to pop the seeds out on this side, we actually um, get a bead ready. We want to yarn over first, slide the bead down, and this is why it gets tricky because it tries to go around and under, um, and then stick it through. You do have to kind of hold the bead down, otherwise it will try to flip around, um, but that's how um, I do it with the hat. So again, let me just do a couple And then, 
just as an aside, I'm using Vanna's Choice yarn here, and it's actually very, very soft, but I've been having a dickens of a time with it, man. It keeps on splitting, and um, it's kind of costly, so it, it is really nice. It makes really soft things. I do enjoy the yarn, but I truly don't think it's worth the price, quite honestly. Sorry, Vanna. Love you a lot. Anyway, let's go ahead and beat again. So I wrap it around, I put the bead down, and I go into the next stitch. Keep the bead down with my thumb, pull it out. Alright, so there you have it. The difference in beading between the scarf and popping it out on the back, and the hat and popping it out in the front. Alright guys. Go enjoy the pattern. I know it's been a year for many of you guys who saw this scarf well last year. But um, hey, it's a free pattern. So <laughs> go and enjoy it. Thanks a lot. Take care.